how exactly did you build such great relationships with your, uh, I'd say fans almost, your Miami Fruit fans? How did you build and foster those relationships um, so well over the years? Um, well, for a long time, it was just Rain and I doing the customer service. So we were in contact with everyone through email. And then we have since brought on um, two customer service girls. And she, they're great. Um, but I definitely try and stay in, in the DMs a little bit. We also have somebody in the DMs. But um, I always try and respond to comments too and just make people feel seen because I just feel like eternally grateful that people would even want to follow me or follow this business and see what's going on and order our fruits. So um, I just try and make people feel like as seen as possible. I love that. I love that. I love how it's, it's genuine, right? Like you genuinely feel grateful that they're interested in what you're doing. And I think that comes, be comes because you feel genuinely grateful about doing what you're doing. And so you're happy to, to reach out and, and thank people for that. And I don't know if that's as possible if you're doing something you hate doing. You know? Yeah. Um, but definitely, like, if you ever get, like, a comment on your post, um, I would definitely recommend replying to the comment and just starting a conversation, too, because that helps not only people feel like they're, they're some, a real person that they're talking to, but it also helps with the algorithm. They're more likely to see um, your future posts if you mm. have more conversations that's with so them. Oh, cool. Too. I love that. That's a really good tip. That's a really good tip. Got to make note of that one. Um, so uh, taking it a step further, so you have these relationships with these people now who are looking at your Instagram page, and how do you then um, turn them into customers? How do you actually get them to buy what you have to sell? Because it's easy for people just to look at stuff and never buy, but how do you actually get them to buy? Um, well, I definitely try and uh, create as much content as possible and just keep putting it out there and showing people how amazing my product is, how delicious the fruit is. I'll eat the fruit on camera a lot. Um, I'll just try and describe the flavor. I'll go live and go into detail about it. Um, and with fruit, it's, it's very, it's intricate because the seasons. So um, it's very exciting when a fruit first comes into season and that's typically when we get the most orders for that fruit. Um, so yeah, I just try and like build up the excitement with posting as much as possible about it. Right. That's cool. That's, that's a very key point too. building up the excitement as opposed to just saying like, Hey, here's a fruit. You want it? You're like, Hey, this fruit's amazing. You got to try it. That's yeah. really cool. and, and you can't hide that enthusiasm, right? Cause you're genuinely excited about it. Yeah. Fruit is my passion. So it just comes really naturally to me. 